We're going to move from the college to the stage. Now, the Red Barn Theater has become a cultural cornerstone for the Key West community. They have also earned a national reputation for creating big things within small space. So many well-known and talented people have made the Red Barn Theater a part of their story and the Red Barn story, everyone from Jimmy Buffett to Tennessee Williams. I'm going to spend some time this morning talk with one of the founders of the Red Barn Theater, Mimi McDonald. They have such a great great season. If you haven't been to a show already, you must make one of their upcoming ones. Mimi, it's a pleasure having oh, you here. Oh, good morning, me. Jenna. <laughs> Thanks for having me here. All right, Mimi, I have to say that the Red Barn Theater was one of my first experiences when I came to Key West, I and I loved it. Oh, I think so. Do you remember what you saw? I don't remember. <laughs> you put me on the spot, I but I know it was great. <laughs> I know it was great. Well, you know, I'm, as one of the founding members, I'm, you know, I'm here to tell the story. And, you know, it's kind of funny because sometimes we'll go, what did we do last year? And I'm like, I don't know. They, everything kind of blurs into one because we just, once we start the season, it's just fast and furious. You know, it's mm -hmm. one show right after another, after another, after another. So we're in the middle of our season now, and it's just a fast and furious season. We've got Divine Sister just selling out like crazy mm -hmm. um, and shows upcoming. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's like a train ride. You got to get on that train. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'll tell a little bit about the history of the Red Barn. Um, we get my husband Gary and I came out of college. We went to college in Virginia, um, Virginia Commonwealth, and came to Key West with some friends um, with the idea of starting a professional theater. Because in the 70s, uh, Key West looked a lot more exotic, a lot more fun than going to New York City and pounding the pavements. Mm -hmm. So we began the Green Street Theater, which ended up evolving into the Red Barn. And by the time it became the Red Barn in 1980-81, Joy Hawkins had come on board. Um, who is now our artistic director, so, and there were a couple other people involved, but the three of us have remained founding members, and we, you know, are living to tell the story, so it's an, it is an amazing story. Somebody should write a book someday. Well, I think somebody <laughs> will do that, and you guys are celebrating your 33rd, 33rd year. 33rd year, right. So are you happy with the direction that the Red Barn has taken, Mimi? Yes, I think so, because I think that we've seen uh, economic bad times with Wilma and you know the crash of economic things whatever and tourism coming and going and yet the barn has always really remained steadfast mm -hmm. I think that we have a, a real commitment to quality and to good entertainment we do good shows um, there was a story I was thinking of of after Wilma when everybody was sort of limping along and you know people had lost their cars and we were doing a show called sorted lives and we decided to bring the show back and um, it was probably two or three weeks after the hurricane, and the show was just an immediate sell. It was a funny show anyway. It was directed by Tom Loon. It had a lot of crazy comedians in the show. And, you know, to hear the, the Key West audience is sort of coming in and for a minute just relaxing, forgetting what they had gone through with Wilma, was really rewarding. It really was. And we sold that show out for like another two or three weeks. It was great. And I, I do feel, I feel like we are committed to the community. And I think that we, we are a cultural kind of cornerstone. And lots of organizations have come and gone, mm -hmm. but the Red Barn has remained, you know, there. Mm -hmm. It's so. remained very solid. It has. And, and now what's it like with, there are some other theaters in town, Mimi, so do you guys, have competition with each other or are you? Well, you know, competition is healthy, mm -hmm. but the Waterfront Playhouse can do things that we cannot do because they have a bigger space and they have more seats. So they actually can, you know, bring in more revenue, which they put back into their shows. And Dandy Weathers does amazing things. And actually, we have to share actors. We have a small talent pool of actors, which will bring actors from out of town. We'll also bring directors or musical directors from LA or New York. And if they bring in a great musical director who's really good, then, you know, we all, we sort of share that. Then next year, maybe we bring him back. Mm -hmm. um, Larry Cohen, who directed Divine Sister, came from Boston through Randy. So there's connect. We have sort of tentacles out into the whole country. Mm -hmm. And it's good that we share things. We'll share props and, and costumes and resources. Carmen works at the waterfront. She also works at the Red Barn and um, Frank at Woods at the Fine Arts Center they're not really a um, they're more of a presenter they bring companies in so they don't really have they used to they used to produce their own shows but we still you know we share things sometimes we'll co-op on advertising or definitely if you see a show at the waterfront and you enjoy it you're more apt to come to the Red Barn and take you know enjoy a Red Barn show so yeah I yeah. think it's great that you guys yeah you work it's definitely a healthy then. competition mm -hmm. now I mentioned that Jimmy Buffett Tennessee Williams yes. they, they're all part of the Red yes. Barn story well actually all of those definitely have stories and you know that the Red Barn the venue itself started in it's actually the carriage house for the oldest house 1839 mm -hmm. and the oldest house is across the street 
that, that venue was used in the 40s by the Key West players who then left and went to the waterfront. And they got the ice house and turned that into the waterfront playhouse. But prior to that, in the 40s, it, a lot of military people did shows at the Red Barn Theater. Yeh Yehuda Gutman and Ruth Gutman would do concerts there, piano concerts and puppet shows. Um, so that venue was used and um, Tennessee Williams actually went, you know, came on stage and did things. Mm -hmm. But he was also a big help to our theater group when we came down from Richmond. He actually rewrote the, the ending of Suddenly Last Summer. That was the Green Street Theater prior to the Red Barn. So a couple of years before the Red Barn started, we were with a theater called the Green Street Theater, which was actually across the street from Sloppy Joe's. It is such a <laughs> history. I know. There is. But Jimmy Buffett <laughs> actually wanted us to do Don't Stop the Carnival. He came to us and he was wanting to, he wanted to write a show, a musical. So he actually came to Joy and Gary and me and we sat down with him and we looked at the script and, and we talked about his ideas and it clearly it was too big for the Red Barn or actually Key West. He ended up doing it in Miami, but it was a huge musical that he wrote and did. So yes, we actually have uh, Jerry Herman. Oh gosh, um, Shel Silverstein was a huge supporter of the Red Barn and actually gave us plays that we've direct, you know, have produced and done. Um, yeah, Richard Wilbur, who's the poet laureate, has been on our stage. We've done his translations. So yeah, over the years. I think you know we've been able to tap into the literary heritage that Key West is so famous for. Absolutely. Well, unfortunately, we're running out of time, but I know you have a complete schedule on yes, your website. Yes, we do so on our website. Go to the website, mm -hmm. redbarntheater.com. Check it out. We've got video clips. Mm -hmm. um, Divine Sisters, great show. It's selling out. Love, Loss, and What I Wore is coming back in. When's that coming back? It's coming back March 17th. That was a big sellout show too, so it is coming back. Great. Well, check it out. Don't miss the Red Barn Theater. Yeah. Mimi, thank you for being oh, back on. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break. Stay with me.